Hello, it is First Chapter Friday once again, and this week, yet another unusual uh, book to share. This one is called The Anti-Racist Kitchen. This is 21 stories and recipes. The book is edited by Nadia Elhan and illustrated throughout by Rosa Nazari and written by many different contributors. I'm going to share just one of the excerpts, one of the chapters here, um, but I will also read the back of the book to you. <clears throat> A celebration of food, family, activism, and resistance in the face of racism, this collection features stories and recipes from 21 award-winning North American children's books books authors. They share the role of food in their lives and the personal and sometimes difficult experiences they've had growing up as racialized people. Chopped, seared, seasoned, and stewed, the recipes and stories in The Anti-Racist Kitchen highlight the power of sharing a meal and how that simple act can bring us all closer together. As you can see, <clears throat> I really love this book. I put some sticky notes in here. They are safe for this book in particular, but not typically a good idea with library books. All right for me though, um, because there was a few stories I thought really, really stood out. The one I'm gonna read to you is by S.K. Ali, and it is the true story behind ketchup pizza. There's the illustration. <clears throat> Imagine being allergic to pizza. Yes, pizza, that delicious food with dough, sauce, cheese, and toppings, or no toppings, if you're the type who appreciates the fine art of simple cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, how could you be allergic to pizza, the entire thing? Wouldn't you be allergic to the dough, or the sauce, or the gooey cheese? Like, which part of the pizza are you actually allergic to? If you're wondering why I'm asking you so many questions when you didn't even say you were allergic to a pizza, I'll tell you that I'm using something called a rhetoric, a rhetorical device. It's when I put all the focus on you to think up answers so you don't focus on the fact that I'm the one who said I was allergic to pizza. I'm the one who lied. I told this lie to the kids in my fourth grade class. I even lied to my teacher when he asked how many slices I'd be ordering for the class pizza party. I'm allergic to pizza, Mr. Kerr. His eyebrows did a huh dance on top of his glasses when he heard that one. I didn't want to admit a secret. Muslims don't eat pork. Back in the 1980s when I was a child, people at our mosque said there were big pig products in the mozzarella cheese that pizza restaurants used but that was a lot to explain at school. So I shrugged and said I was allergic to pizza. Then the day of the pizza party arrived and I've never recovered from it. Seeing everyone around me eating pizza while I sat there being fake allergic was torture. I went home after the party upset because here's another secret, I'd never tried pizza in my entire life before and it looked like the most delicious thing on earth. Sorry for screaming at you. It's another writing device called emphasizing. I hope I've emphasized how terrible that day was. By yelling at you, she meant all caps. <clears throat> Sad story short, my mom said she'd make us pizza at home. She went to the halal store and got cheese and learned how to make pizza dough and then put ketchup all over it because it was red and pizzas had red sauce on it. So she put delicious spicy ground beef on top before sprinkling it with delicious halal cheese, but let's not get ahead of ourselves when there's something called ketchup pizza staring at us. We kids weren't sure about this pizza. By then, we had tried real halal pizza and this didn't taste like that, but we kept eating it because it was pizza. When my mom learned to put actual pizza sauce on top, my siblings heaved a sigh of relief. Now this was pizza, but not me, because I had transformed. My lie had given birth to a truth. I had learned to love the wrong pizza. So now once in a while, I crave it. Ketchup pizza. And once in a while, my mom makes it for me. She even taught me how to make it just for this book, just for you. That's a device called ending on a sweet note. Isn't that story rad? There's the author. There's a little note about S.K. Ali. She is the best-selling, award-winning author of several books, is on a mission to write every kind of story she loved reading growing up. 
After four realistic novels, she's now moved on to writing science fiction and is dreading tackling horror. Yikes! Next. She has a degree in creative writing and lives in Toronto with her family, which includes a very vocal cat named Yeti. Okay. The best part of this book is after you read each one of the amazing stories, you get the recipe. And yes, indeed, you can make ketchup pizza. The recipe is here, a picture for you to enjoy if you're not gonna make it right away, and lots and lots of inspiration, and really just insight into a lot of different um, backgrounds and the way people grew up and the way people share food, especially as a way to connect with one another and break down barriers. Check this book out from the Alameda Free Library and get cooking. See you next time on First Chapter Friday.